Coming down here, I thought about the history of South Carolina. It frightened me. I said, oh my God, this is the state that executed a child. This is the, person, the state that a person went into a church and shot up all these people inside that church. I said, oh my God, what are we getting ready to go into? We remember yesterday, George Junius Stinney, a 14-year-old African-American boy electrocuted legally by the state of South Carolina in 1944. He was five foot one, 95 pounds when he was killed by the electric chair. And some would say we've come a long way and others of us would say we've still got a long way to go. There's been so much bloodshed here in this state and yet they're still willing to take South Carolinian lives. I think it's important that we make the connection between the idea of killing people via the death penalty and the Confederate state of mind because it's the same attitude that some people aren't really people. When we fight, we win. So if we want to win, we have got to be together. We've got to do this thing together. We have to continue to talk about it. We, and then after we talk, after we leave here, we have to do something about it. What ends up determining who gets executed is not the atrocity of the crime, but the resources of the defendant, the race of the victim, and it is time for the death penalty to go. South Carolina will look better without the Confederate flag, and it will look better without the death penalty.